Hello everyone, Max here with Fiction Rant to bring you another character triage video. Today on the chopping block, Reva the Inquisitor from Star Wars Kenobi. Let me start by saying Kenobi is a mess of a show in my opinion with a lot of issues from the Three Stooges trying to capture Kid Leia to the bait and switch of the show supposedly being about Kenobi and his mission to protect a young Luke, only to have him spend most of the show off-world babysitting Leia when Bail Organa was supposed to be doing that, and as an Imperial Senator absolutely had the resources to do so without endangering the whole mission by involving Kenobi. Reva, unfortunately, is one of the worst parts of the show in my mind, and this has nothing to do with Moses Ingram's performance. I don't think it was a spectacular performance, but I'm kind of used to that in Star Wars at this point, so it doesn't bug me too much. Hayden Christensen's kind of comes to mind. No, the real issue I have, and many others have, is with the character of Reva herself. When first introduced to Reva, immediately there's a sense of chaotic danger, as not only is she an Inquisitor tasked with hunting down and eliminating Jedi, but her methods are apparently over the top, even for them. Our first real scene with her involves her demanding information regarding a Jedi fugitive from a crowd on Tatooine, and then cutting off some random lady's hand because she was mildly annoying. And immediately, we get to see the other Inquisitors being like, Okay, dial it back a bit. We don't need to dismember the locals quite yet. Later, she murders the High Inquisitor while fanatically pursuing her objective, and it isn't until much later in the series that we find out she's actually been an anti-hero this whole time, who is doing all these awful things so she could get close to Darth Vader and assassinate him. She gets her chance eventually, but... Oddly enough, gets her butt kicked, with very little effort from Vader, and ultimately she's run through for her trouble. But as we've seen multiple times at this point, being run through with a lightsaber really is more of an inconvenience at this point, not actually all that deadly, so Qui-Gon was just a weakling, I guess. She then goes on to Tatooine and threatens young Luke after finding out about his relationship to Vader because Bail Organa is a idiot now. But Obi-Wan is able to talk her down, prompting her to ride off into the sunset to hopefully never show up in another series that they left that option open. Okay, on to the triage part. Here's my fix, and this time it's a pretty simple one. Let her be evil. Don't do all this anti-hero crap. It's unnecessary, confusing, and doesn't really make any sense anyway. The writers could cut out the whole bit about her being a youngling survivor of the, of the assault on the Jedi Temple in Episode 3, their revenge plot against Vader and all that crap, they don't need any of that. They can still have a villain for the story. There seems to be a trend these days of not letting villains just be villains. Repeatedly now, it's been a trend of, oh yeah, this person did awful things, but they're sorry now, or they did it for a good reason, so all is forgiven. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Reva wanting to kill Vader doesn't make her more sympathetic to anyone. If anything, dark side folks wanting to murder their bosses so they can get a promotion is pretty quintessentially dark side-y, so who cares about the dark backstory about how she just reacting to the trauma she experienced as a young girl? I'd even believe that she was actually doing some kind of subversive good guy secret thing routine if it weren't for the fact that she's the most unhinged member of her own little cult who's willing to dismember random people for being mildly annoying. That kind of character is not the one that writers should try and get the um, audience to sympathize with. If anything, the other Inquisitor, who's basically telling her to cool her jets, was a much more sympathetic character, because at least he was inclined towards exercising some restraint. So yeah, my main fix for Eva is just let her be evil. Once we've got that, though, there's still room to work. So, as I'm sure you're all aware, the Sith operate under the rule of two. One master, one apprentice, no more, no less. Except for the Inquisitors and Ventress and Maul and all that. The way that they get around the Rule of Two and have additional dark side Force users is that none of those are actually considered Sith Lords. There's basically a promotion you get once your master offs his master, so you get to be the next pair. So, like, Darth Maul wasn't Darth Maul until after Darth Sidious took out Darth Plagueis, then Maul and Sidious were the next pair. This rule exists because of Darth Bane back in the way back times, and it started as a response to the infighting that's kind of inherent with the Sith. Back in those days, there were thousands of Sith, and they waged war against the Jedi and the Old Republic all the time. The problem was, there was some major brain drain going on on the Sith side because each Sith Master would have several apprentices who weren't as experienced or skilled as the Master was, but who would then team up against their Master to take him out and then turn on each other, leading to the next master being weaker than the one that came before, and so on and so on until they were pretty diluted in terms of power. 
The rule of two was supposed to fix this, and based on what we see in the films, it pretty much worked. Palpatine was the culmination of thousands of years of this, and he managed to rule the whole galaxy for a few decades. So why am I going to all this? Well, it's to point out that there's already a framework in place to give Reva plenty of motive to not only want to take out the Grand Inquisitor, but also ultimately go against Vader. We don't need all that extra stuff about her being a youngling from the temple who's really trying to get her vengeance. If anything, your typical Sith apprentice would view the less fortunate temple younglings as weaklings who only impeded the development of their own power, so Vader did them a huge favor by purging them all. That's all the motivation we need. None of it needs to be altruistic. It can be foolish, of course, and we can still have her duel Vader and get totally wrecked. Incidentally, when it comes to Vader versus Reva and her getting run through but walking it off and showing up later, yeah, cut that out. When you throw down with Vader, only one of th two things are going to happen. You run away or you're done. That's it. None of this get stabbed through the chest with a lightsaber and then miraculously get better somehow. Besides, Vader of all people is a pro at taking people out via lightsaber. He would not be that sloppy. But yeah, there's my fix. Number one, let Reva be evil. She certainly acts that way anyway. And number two, let her motivation for taking out superiors be standard Sith ambition, not some goofy form of altruism. And this would even have the bonus effect of telling the audience more about how the Sith actually operate, and why. And three, let her die. If she fights Vader, she should die. It'd be a really cool moment for Vader to be able to show his stuff, and we don't need all the stuff about her threatening Luke anyway. It's unnecessary. So just let her die during that scene. And then move on, and we can still have the duel between Vader and Kenobi and all that crap that... I'll talk about that in a later video. They're, they're... Kenobi has issues. But for now, that's all I've got. Unfortunately, Kenobi has a ton of other issues that need to be fixed up. I'll tackle each of the characters in turn to see what I can do with them. But what other characters from other shows and movies suck and need the character triage treatment? Let me know in the comments who you'd like to see me fix a bit and maybe suggest some ways that you would go about it. Preferably that don't require me rewriting whole stories. And until next time... Live long and prosper, and may the Force be with you.